Hey, hey pals, welcome to Frame and Fiber. I'm your host, Paige Miller. How are you today? Uh, this is a video for you guys, it's a, a recap video. I last weekend hosted Mars, who is Hey Brown Berry, here on YouTube and on Instagram and on Ravelry. Uh, she came to New Jersey and stayed with me and taught a drop spindle class at Frame and Fiber, which is my picture framing and yarn shop in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. It was a great weekend. Uh, in this video, you'll see very short snippets of the weekend. So first up, you'll see some footage of us being uh, together with other knitters in my local community uh, at Knit in the Pit, which is a monthly knit night. It is a community knit night, meaning it's not held at a knit shop or a coffee shop. It is a big space and there's a lot of knitters that come out. Uh, I think the average is about 60 to 70 and at their height, you know, when it's like the middle of the season, there could be 120 people. So it's amazing to be surrounded by that many fiber lovers, knitters and crocheters alike. So I'll introduce you to that a little bit. Uh, and then I have some footage of Marce's two classes. She taught on a Saturday and a Sunday. The classes were great. Uh, each class on um, each class had its own energy and its own chemistry and it was just fun to see these knitters and crocheters come together and learn a new craft spinning on a drop spindle is so much fun if you were interested in taking this class with Mars at my shop um, I think have no fear it may happen again <laughs> Follow either me or Mars on Instagram and just keep up with the latest. She's flying all over the place teaching, so maybe she'll come to your area. Uh, yeah, so, and then the last little bit of this video is just me and Mars saying goodbye on the last day. Uh, we took a walk on the beach, so yeah. I hope you like this little bit. It's a short video, but it was too fun not to share. All right then. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. So I'm always like looking <laughs> off somewhere, even when I'm taking the picture. Designs by Jasmine. Yes. Jasmine. in honor of Nick Pat Say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Gracie. <laughs> goodnight, Gracie.
your strand to travel to. That might be right near your hook, it might be past a big lump. Either way, that's what it's looking for. One thing to think about is, if you're having a trouble spot, like, for example, Alyssa's saying, I have a thicker area. The twist is not is not doing anything to that. It's not making it tighter. It won't. It'll continue looking for the thinner spot past that. Wind on past that trouble spot. Wind that part onto your top and move on to the next part of your fiber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at all the yarn making going on. And I already had some yarn on here on purpose because I just want to start the spin. You know this part already. Okay. And I just let it keep going. I'm showing you the motions right now on some already spun yarn. My two hands meet. And as I'm pulling my right hand away, I'm doing a tiny bit more drafting. Not a big pull, not a heavy pull. Just enough to make sure that the next unspun bit of fiber is spin ready, you can say. You see that my spindle's still going a little bit? Okay. The studio too. Nice kid. Good, Pat. You're getting comfortable. I'm not even sure that I'm doing this in the right hand. Oh, that was a nice spin. Yeah. Yes. How do you keep it moving? Video or picture? Video. Do you want picture and video? Oh, God. Wait, we're spinning. I can't do the drop. I just like that I got a video of you guys being really spazzy about it being. Wait, what's my line? What's my line? What's my line? I love Denise's fiber. Yeah, that little nugget. 